It's time for a podcast with my wife, Anne-Marie. Yes, I'm here. Hello. I asked Twitter for uh, some recommendations for topics oh, and questions. You're trying a different voice this time <laughs> than the one you did on okay, the previous Okay, attempt. you know, I'll... Okay, I'm gonna go back to that voice. This and, was not uh, even. This was not even. The this one is, you were. We're, we're gonna do it now. Yes, I did. No, it's you were doing one. like hello. Hello. Yeah, it's this one. Hello. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I'm doing this voice now. Um, Great. We, we, I asked Twitter to ask for topics and questions, and yeah, uh, Emily, Emily picked them. I don't know which ones she picked, and we're just gonna do them. Yeah. So you you get the you steer us on this one. I have to oh, okay. sit back and um, just, you take the wheel. Um, one of the topics that I thought uh, that a, a bunch of people, or like not a bunch, but several, more than one person suggested was uh, like theme parks in Disneyland. And I was like, well, I can talk about that for like 80 hours. So mm-hmm, let's mm-hmm. do it. And then if we get bored of talking about Disneyland, we can go on to some of the other topics that I saw. Okay. Well, what do you want to talk about with Disneyland? You know, I don't know. <laughs> Wow, great, great start. Uh, uh, you know what? We sh- when okay, so we're in the yeah. pandemic. Okay, sure. Picture this: you're yeah. in a global pandemic and you can't go anywhere. Just imagine. That's, that sounds absurd, but okay. Just sure. imagine, and then yeah. you can't go to Disneyland for like ten months. Oh, that'd be awful. It would be so horrible. So when you finally can go back to Disneyland, what's the first thing you want to do when we get our APs reinstated and are allowed and it's safe to go back, but also when we go back? Like, what would be my top priority? Yes. If we're we're going to Disneyland after, like, a year or whatever, or, oh, God, however long this is going to be, and, mm. um, yeah, so what is, what are you, those, what's the one thing you want to eat the most, and what ride do you want to go on? Like, if you could just go on any ride first without waiting or whatever. Oh, well, that's an easy question, then. Rise of the Resistance. Oh, no, no, one that you've been on. We haven't been on that one yet. <laughs> what? Well, that counts? It okay, does count, uh, but I'm talking about which one do you, like, miss the most. You can't miss a ride you haven't been on. So, no wait time. I can just ride it as soon as I walk into the park. Like, you're... Okay, now it's going to be, like... Have yeah, million, see, now it's, like, which ones have... Oh, my God. Like, how long is the no, wait? No, 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 no. See, I'm talking... Okay, so you're talking about... I don't have to wait. I can just write it as soon as I walk in. Oh my god, you're making this way more complicated than <laughs> no, it needs to be. No, I am not making this complicated. The perspective the one... is that you haven't been there in so long. What ride do you miss the most? That's a different question. Okay, what well, ride that's what I'm I asking. Miss? What do you miss the most? Not what ride would you go on if you, there was no mm, wait. Like... Okay, what ride do I miss the most? I mean, it's the ride I miss every time we go, which is Splash Mountain, because nobody ever wants to ride it with me. Uh, probably, but... Probably a better answer. You know they're redoing. They're uh, that's going away. Oh shit! That's right. Is that going to be? Changing? Oh my god! I wonder if it's. Go- I wonder if the last time we wrote it was the last time we could ever write it. <gasps> mm. Can you look it up real quick? Because I'm afraid to touch my desk and ruin my audio. <laughs> no, that's fine. Uh, I think uh, you know, even if that's the case, it's still in Florida. It'll just be another excuse to go back to Disney World. Oh, but it's better here. Ah, oh, it is not fuck. better here. I mean, it's kind it of is better. better. You get you get wetter you here. Get way too wet. You have way too wet <sighs> on Splash Mountain here. Okay, so, I mean, listen, so is that the listen, ride you miss so, the most? Like you. you I mean, been, it's gonna been, be now because I'm never gonna get to see wait, it again. No, <laughs> we haven't been to Disneyland in a year, and you're like, we're uh, going well, to Disneyland. I, I do want to stress. Though, I do want to stress that the Tiana stuff. I'm I'm cool with it. Like I think that's cool. I will just personally miss. Uh, just the goofiness. I hope the new one will like keep the charm, which I'm sure it'll still be charming. Um, but it it'll be weird. Uh, having it be suddenly like a very different thing. I'm at, so if okay, Splash Mountain is up there because I'm never gonna get to see it again. Oh my uh, god. So otherwise, hmm. That's a good question. Let's see. I like Big Thunder. I like Pirates, but I don't think either of those are, like, the ones I miss the most. What do you miss? You know, I don't necessarily miss any of the rides, but I really... And this is just kind of a thing that you that everybody misses for everything because of uh, COVID. But mm-hmm. um, I really just miss going and, like, just people watching and just kind of sitting outside and just, like, watching all the people in their, like, little cute Disney outfits. And because, um, you, know, you know, I don't care, like... I've been on all the rides so many times. I just don't care that much about the rides. Yeah. See, I don't miss any of that at all. So, In fact, I know. if I could go back to the park, if I could go back to the park and it's completely empty, 
That would be a dream come true. Well, yes. Obviously, uh, obviously I would take the opportunity <laughs> to go to a literal empty Disneyland. Like, that's not what the issue is. Yeah, people watching isn't really my thing. So, yeah, I think I think my answer is going to be Splash Mountain. Uh, I never get to ride it anyway. It's going to be gone. Uh, if I had to... Is it gonna? Are we talking? Are we talking about Disneyland proper or? Oh, it's gonna be California Cal- Adventure. I'm. You know, I really miss. Um, uh, oh, what? What? Uh, the the oh, car. You, you just forgot. I already forgot. Radiator Springs, the car. Radiator ride. Springs. I was gonna say that's a. That's great like one ride. of my favorite rides in the park. Any in the park in both of the parks anyway. But uh, I definitely miss that. I miss Cars Land. Oh, I miss Disneyland so much. Yeah, Radiator Springs, I think, would be my answer for California. And then, like I said, Splash Mountain for the other half. Food-wise, do I really miss anything food-wise? Yes, I miss the churros. Do drinks count? Yes, anything counts. Even if it's the, not uh, even a regular thing, you can say your cotton candy soda. The Well, it's not cotton candy soda. The prickly pear soda at Cars Land. I do like that a lot. At the little cones, mm-hmm. um, that shit's good. Uh, oh yeah, the uh, the pair pair of dice. Mm, yeah, ra- whatever. Uh, what the fuck is I forget the character's name? Ramon, Something pair of Ramon's Luigi, pair of dice. Lightning McQueen. It's Ramon, I believe. But uh, Mater's um, pair of dice. Mater's pair of balls. Uh, no. It's, uh, <clears throat> want, want, want to drink some of my balls? Uh, I, uh, I Food-wise, I miss the food festivals. I do miss the food. Oh, my God. I was the only one of our entire regular group that goes that got to do food and wine. <laughs> Cause, Damn. Because I happened to go, like, to meet up with someone who was out of town. And I it was during that time. And I was like, cool, I'm just going to, like, get a couple things and try it. And then I'll come back in a month with my friend. No, we didn't cut with. And then it closed, like, two weeks later. But, uh, so yeah. I, d- I did get to try some of the food and wine, and I will just cherish this forever. Yeah, that those food events are just, those are extremely fun. So those in general would be my answer for the food. Yeah, I think I even bought one of the, like, passes that you can use, and I didn't get to use all the thingies. Mm. You know, it's horrible. It's just sadness. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, okay, so you miss Splash Mountain the most, and you miss your prickly pair of dice soda? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Major's Balls, yeah. I mean, no, <laughs> no. No yeah. Vader's balls. There's okay. no balls. All right. I I miss the rides. I whenever I go to Disneyland, I am all about doing as many rides as we can. Which you know we have we have a we have a group that we go with with our annual passes. And a lot of you guys are babies. Half of you can't ride the rides because your grandpas and grandmas and just babies. So it's like okay, uh, no, they're, they're, no, they're, that is not oh, true. Yeah, what was up? No, you are always like, hey guys. Who wants to go on the swinging gondola Ferris wheel eight times in a row? And like nobody yeah, wants to do that. because the swinging gondola Ferris wheel fucking rules. Or you're like, hey, let's uh go to this food festival and eat our weight in food, and let's go on the Incredicoaster right afterwards. Yeah, exactly. Like nobody it helps wants you digest. to digest. You're you're not very efficient. Ah, that's not true. You know, I'm very efficient with like the with the app and like seeing the t- wait times. Listen. Just because you are grandma and just because half the people get sick when they ride, you know, the merry-go-round or whatever, doesn't mean that I am wrong in the way that I pursue Disney. What? In fact, Nobody rides Steve, our, our good friend Steve Yurko <laughs> is usually the one who will ride with me because he gets it. He's like, yeah, I don't want to I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't ride rides at Disney. I don't want to, like, just sit around and shop. That's dumb. Yeah, like, that's – I, I we, Steve we are, would never say that. He would never say that, but <laughs> I know he feels it in his heart. No, that's um, not true. Everybody loves I know, walking well, listen, around Well, listen, listen. When we've gone, because, you know, what I like about our group, though, is that we'll split off. We don't have to stick together. Like, uh, like our friend Jay, who, like, I guess had such a, had, like, some tragic experience once where he was like, I went to Disneyland and, like, oh, we had to stick together in a group and it was just so annoying. And I was like, you could have not. <laughs> It's um, not, not if the people you're with are annoying. I've been with people like that who, like, never want to split up. Even if the if do people in the group want to do different things? There's always... Okay, you have obviously only had good experiences in group outings because I've definitely been in groups where they're like, <laughs> I don't want to split up from the group. Everybody has to do the same thing. That's because I have good friends and hang out Damn. with people who aren't... aren't but really yeah, no, I totally agree because... 
because um, whenever I'm in a group and I want to do something, I'm just like, fuck all y'all. I'm going to go do this thing because I don't give a shit about what you're doing. Mm. So I obviously don't have any issues doing that. But. No, no, no. And that's why I do. I do appreciate that. Um, but like, so Steve and I will usually split up and it's like, yeah, we're going to go ride Grizzly River Rapids. Oh, that's true. You guys do go off for like hours and then I don't see Yeah, because we want to ride rides. We don't want to go, I want to look at Mickey Mouse for 30 minutes from a bench. Like, that's not why I'm coming to Disneyland. That's I'm why going I'm Disneyland going to Disneyland. To ride, to ride some dope ass rides, eat some food, have a good time. Every day I go to Disneyland, I want it to be a fun filled day. It doesn't have to be action packed. It doesn't have to be, you know, balls to the wall. But if I go to Disneyland and don't ride anything, to me, that's like a waste of time. Okay. What's the worst ride? Oh, the worst ride. I don't, I don't ride. care about what you're saying anymore. What's the worst ride? Oh, oh okay, great. Uh, okay. Uh, you know, this isn't the worst ride, but What's I one really... that you go on and you're just like, it doesn't even, it's not even like. No, go ahead. I'll let you finish before I say what I was going to say. And I think I'm about to answer what you're about to ask. And, and the answer is Buzz Lightyear's Ass Blasters. That, that, is, that not, is I like that ride. And that, I don't know what you thought I was going to ask you. Just like a ride that you go on and it's not even like, it's just like, I think overrated. Was that what you were going for? No. Yeah, I guess overrated. I don't think Yeah, I think that ride is very overrated. You're just it's mad just like, I win. you know me, I'm always, I always get really <laughs> mad when I don't win. Such something. a sore no. loser. Yeah, such a notorious sore loser. Uh, uh, no, I, I just I just find that it's Toy I mean it's cute, right? Like it's a cute ride. Toy and Story I, I Mania appreciate... is the superior version. It is way well, better obviously. in every way. It's hard I don't even want to compare the two because like that one is just, you know, one billion times better. But like Buzz Lightyear ass blasters, it's like, yeah, I get it. We're in the car and yeah, we're shooting at the little targets, but I feel like the targets aren't like that well sensitive designed so it just feels it like it's an old like, ride okay you have to remember old... that most of the things at disneyland were built once and then never updated and... no no i understand <laughs> and so that's why i'm like yeah if i want to like you know what you know what's gonna give me this experience but i don't have to wait in a line is the shooting gallery at the the frontier land you know have you, have you ever done that no i sorry you're the one so for those of so you lovely listeners who don't know Someone's goal is to do every, literally every single thing at Disneyland at some point. Um, yep, so which I only he, have two things left. So he's done the things that like no, like normal people don't do. Like I don't go to the fucking shooting gallery. Can we? Swear well, there's on no this line. Podcast? There's no line. You put in like a quarter, is swearing and you allowed? get to play up. You get to, uh, absolutely fucking not. Fuck. You get to play. You get to put like a quarter in, and you play like a pretty fun little like shooting game. You shoot little targets, okay, and it actually, you have to pay yeah. to do this, and ask and ask blasters is free. <laughs> Uh, ass blasters pay cost me. To get into the park. Ass blasters cost me my time. I I feel myself dying if I'm waiting in the line for ass blasters. Like I feel like oh I, that was like thirty minutes I didn't want to spend in my life. But don't you love the like, giant that's a ride Buzz Lightyear just, in the queue? The giant Buzz Lightyear is the best part. <laughs> so it's like if I could just go in and like look at that for like five seconds, <laughs> then I don't need to ride the rest of the ride. The rest of the ride you is just, just like look at it and you leave. You waited two I would hours rather, in line to look at the giant Buzz Lightyear. I would rather go in line and wait like two minutes, see the Buzz Lightyear, then leave. Then, then wait like the rest of the 30 minutes or whatever and then have an <laughs> okay time. So that's my answer for that one. Uh, you know what ride? I actually like it, but I feel like I like it less every time I ride it, which is Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> wow see i still love I, I mean no, to be fair i fall asleep half the time but i kind of okay, like that's what that I'm about talking it. about but i kind of like that it, oh it's, it's like, like, like so it's cozy time between your like yeah. 80 rides of the incredible coaster you have to understand i'm usually going pretty hard so sometimes if it's like hey i need a break you get the nice fun big drop at the beginning and then you get the fun music and the sights and then sometimes you can kind of sleep a little bit and then it's like a You've actually seen me sleep right on this ride, like multiple. No, it's dark, times. and I'm looking at the. I'm looking at the ride. I'm looking at the. Attra- I'm looking at the pigs and the animals. Oh, I've absolutely and the Jack Sparrow asleep. that's there. I have fallen asleep in the second half. I will say though, just for like sheer like time for your weight worth, great value because oh, it's yeah. a long the wait ride. Wait is usually not more than like twenty or thirty minutes. If I mean, it's like, usually like twenty minutes. Now, to if be you're fair, good. though, if we see the mm. line is longer than that, we don't wait. <laughs> like we don't True. we only go on it when it's a short wait i'm sure some people have waited like two hours for it and just oh were underwhelmed. Yeah, yeah um but pirates is like i don't know i feel like 
it was one of my favorite rides when I was younger and like my family would go mm. on trips to Disney World in Florida. Mm. And then when we moved here and we were like, hey, let's go to Disneyland because I love Disneyland. And I was like, yeah. oh yeah, Pirates is great. And like, we always go on it. I think we go on it at least once every single time we go because it's yeah. usually like, what can we do while we're here? Oh, Pirates only has like a 15 minute wait. Let's just go on it. But every right. time we go on it, I feel like I just am like, this ride is longer than I remember. Mm. This ride uh, gets stuck every time I'm on it. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's uh, true. Sometimes yeah. it gets stuck at a part where I'm not sure if something is going to fall on me and kill me. Uh-huh. It smells really bad. Yeah, you're not wrong. Uh, and, you know, it's just, and sometimes you just get too wet. And I don't like getting wet mm-hmm. on rides. See, that's never a problem for me. Now, you've been in the front row with me, right? Yes, the front row is great, but I still that's... don't like getting wet on rides. Well, first off, you get really wet in the front, which is the best. But also, like, <laughs> that's like HD pirates. That's like, if <laughs> you I like could you're ride, you're actually if... gonna get killed by a pirate. If you're yeah, in the yeah. Front. Like Jack Sparrow's actually gonna slice my head off. Like I would absolutely, <laughs> if if I could sit in the front row every time, I would ride that ride all the time. Cause that that to me is actually a big difference. Uh, and again, I think the drop at the front front is really fun, and there's like. You know, it's always cool. Like the pirates you know, here I think is way ride... better than the Florida one. I will say. Oh yeah, because it has like two ass. drops, and the one in Florida doesn't have anything, as far as yeah. I remember. Yeah. Uh, you know what ride I feel this? How you feel about pirates? Even though I think the ride is great, this haunted mansion because that line is way too long all the time. It's way too long all the time. We always get stuck at like the same part, and it's the part where we're going backwards. Down yeah, the we've hill. gotten stuck at that exact part multiple Maybe times. Maybe three, four times. I feel like. Uh, and, like, half the time, it's the fucking Jack Skellington one. So it's, like, you don't even get to see, like, Oh, the, I, that's uh, the best. That, that's why we waited so long the one time was because we wanted to well, go Well, see, the listen. I think the Jack Skellington one is awesome. And I, I did enjoy going on it. But I don't want it to be that all the time. And it feels like every time I try to ride that ride, it's always Jack Skellington. And I'm, like, I want to see the original one, like again well the problem is that uh the ride is like closed for like four months out of the year while they put up that stuff and then take right. it down <laughs> right so right. so yeah we'll have to go once the park is open again and we can safely go we will have to go like in the spring when it's just normal because mm-hmm. yes i do like the original but i also love the nightmare before christmas version that they have yeah. during the holidays i mean as a ride it's it's great but i think it's not one that i'm always like oh let's go let's ride it because usually the wait time is that's another one where i only long. really like oh let's go on it if the wait if i see that the wait is pretty short yeah yeah Mo- there's not that many rides where where a wait time longer than 30 minutes is worth it to me but i'll do it yeah. if there's no other option yeah, like yeah. you know like um uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy is always like 45 plus minutes, but I'll usually wait because I like that ride so much. Guardians and, I mean, the car radiator springs is impossible, but if it was like a 40 oh, minute wait, well, I would you know, absolutely. We only ever do that one if we manage to get a fast pass anyway. Yeah, I mean, that's true. Um, yeah, I think 30 minutes is usually the max I'll wait on okay. 90% of the rides. So, overrated ride you think is Ass Blasters. What yeah. is what do you think is the most underrated ride? Well, I've talked about this. It's either Goofy Sky School or Mater's Ring Around the Fuck or whatever the fuck. I don't know what it's called. Mater's Mater's oh. Spinny oh. Spinny what Jamboree. What is it called? If you can't remember what it's called, you're not a real fan. Mater's Dick Dangling Balls. Jungle. You always just say, "Let's go on Mater." So. Yeah. What the fuck is that? I'm gonna look it up. Like, what is that stupid ride called? Like uh, Junkyard Jamboree or something stupid. Junkyard Jangle My Dick. Uh, Junk. Yes, I think it's called Mater's Junkyard Jangle My Dick. Welcome to Mater's Junkyard Jangle My Dick. Uh, let's see here. What is it called? It's called Mater's Junkyard Jangle My Dick. What is it uh, actually called? Stop it. None of your business. I'm looking it up. Uh, <laughs> let's see. It's called. No, you're right. Mater's Junkyard Jamboree. I will say for people who have not are not familiar, that ride is that ride whips you around. It is like a, it's like riding an unsafe carnival ride at like your <laughs> local state fair. It is so fun. Someone does not like one. riding it with me because I'm like, make sure you don't slam into me when it whips yeah, you yeah. around, and he has to like hold himself. And he's like, I only like riding this ride. With people who will let me slam into them. <laughs> and by that I mean our friend Elvis. Like our friend Elvis and Elvis and I, that's like our that's the ride we like kiss on. That's the ride like we're like because we discovered it together. We were just like, ah, let's just ride this stupid ride. And then like 
we've we 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 thought it was gonna be really stupid. I remember you guys was one of those told me afterwards. You were like, "That ride was awesome." Yeah, and then I, I had to check it off my list, and I was like, "Ah, let's just ride the stupid ride." And then it was so much fun because it just whips you around in these loops and circles, uh, and we're just slamming into each other, and we're just fucking laughing the whole time. I was like, "Man, I have to ride this with Elvis every time because <laughs> that the full potential is like if I ride it with you. I mean, to be fair, you know, I'm you know, you're you're a petite." a petite small little creature so it's what? like if i if i slam into you full force it's gonna hurt you so i get that <laughs> correct so but i have to i have to i have to hold the bar but it, it's like uh you know not being able to be fully into it you know i i have to i have to like limit myself whereas if it's with anybody else i can just slam into them and it's 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 a lot of fun um, so that ride's great and then Goofy well sorry Sky's for cool. being such a small fragile creature <laughs> you know it's fine and then uh, Goofy Sky School, uh, that one also has the feel of a dangerous carnival ride, which I love. That's that because also it's, it's that exact same bends. track that is, like, at carnivals. Like, that track is not yeah. unique to Goofy Sky School. It's, like, the, I don't know what they usually call it, but it's a very common, like, roller coaster track. It basically feels like you're going to whip you all off the yeah, side, you just, which I love. Yeah, it whips you off. Oh, God, that ride scares me so much. I, both of those, I expected nothing. Because there's a, there's a similar Goofy-themed small coaster in Disney World that sucks ass. Oh, the Barnstormer? Yeah, that one's stupid as hell. So I was like, okay, Goofy Sky School, let's check it off the list. Which is why I like doing this. Like, I love doing, like, projects like, hey, let's ride every stupid ride. Because mm-hmm. I would never ride Goofy Sky School ever otherwise. I'd always ride just, like, the cool rides every time. But if it's a thing where it's like, hey, I have to ride it. Then you discover, like, oh, like, Tom Sawyer's Island is really fun. Or, that was really oh, hey. fun. I was surprised. I thought it was going to yeah. be stupid, and it was really we, fun. Yeah, we need to go back uh, and take another group picture this time with Steve. Uh, oh, was he not there? No, Steve was our brook. Steve wasn't there for our pirate photo? No, I know, so that's why we got to do it. We have to delete um, the other photo. It's disrespectful now. True. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, that's those, I think those two are the easily the most underrated. Oh, as far as... Disneyland proper? Are there any rides that are underrated there? They're all pretty beloved, and I'm gonna look at the list. See, Do you have any answers? Uh, I honestly really love the Winnie the Pooh ride. Oh, that's a and great I, I feel like it's um, I don't know if it's necessarily underrated, but the wait time is always like five minutes or less because it's it's off in that weird corner that the entrance to Splash Mountain is at, and yeah. like it's Splash Mountain and then the Winnie the Pooh ride, and that's it. That's the only thing there. It's like closed off. Now it's like if you go over there, you can get into the the Galaxy's Edge part of the park. Yeah, but still, there's no real like connection to the rest of the park. So that I feel like because of that, it's always got a short wait time. It's actually like a just a really cute and kind of fun ride. Like it's relaxing. That's a ride where I'm like, oh yeah, I can go on this if I need to like relax for a couple minutes. It's really well done animatronics and stuff. And yeah, it's always like two minute wait. Very cute. No, that's a, a sh- that's my short, answer. It's short, but yeah, well. you do have to kind of like like I wouldn't be like let's walk across the park to go on Winnie the Pooh, but if I'm like near there, I'll be like, hey, Winnie the Pooh is over there. Let's go on it. Yeah, that one yeah, I think no. is underrated for sure, just because I just feel like a lot of people either don't know about it or don't care enough about it to go on it. Right. Tom Sawyer's Island is probably pretty underrated. That's true. I thought it it's was not really a, it's not a ride. Really, it's an attraction. But, yeah. I thought I thought you were counting everything that was an attraction. No, yeah, yeah, that counts for as an attraction for sure. Um. Let's see. Disneyland. See, a lot of the ones I'm thinking of are ones where it's like, oh, no, this is really popular. I was going to be like, Space Mountain. No, everybody loves Space Mountain. I just didn't like it until the last time I went on it. Yeah, I think Rise of the Resistance is really underrated. Oh, my Um, God. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, I think the Monsters, Inc. ride, I don't know if it's underrated, but I feel like... Mm. Well, yeah, that one's good. I don't I like know. It. I really like that ride, but I feel like either the wait, there's no wait, or the wait is like an hour. So maybe it isn't underrated. Mm, I'm just trying to think it's of actually, It's that... actually, I would say the the damning thing for that ride is its location. Because it's off by itself, kind mm-hmm. of, in that Hollywood area. Right, because in California Adventure, they got rid of, or they're redoing the a, a Bug's Life part to be Marvel. Yeah. So, like, yeah. that huge, like, the first time we ever went to Disneyland, it was there, and we could walk right through the park. And then the next time we went, they'd close it all off. And I was like, well, this is not very efficient. For yeah. getting around so the it's park. like I never want to ride that ride enough where I'm gonna like walk all the way back and all the way to the front. Like, no. Like I feel that. that way. I feel that they really um um Guardians of the Galaxy too because now it's all you have to walk all the way over there. Mm. And like I like that ride. So, like that's one of my favorite rides. But definitely, unless I'm already over there, I'm not really like, oh yeah, I'm gonna walk all the way over there to go on Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. Yeah. 
I will still do it because I love that ride. But, no, 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 but no. With, the, with the new rides they're building there, eventually it'll be like... Then it's going to be impossible to get on any of those rides. But, you know, we'll see. Maybe we'll have a chance at Rise of the Resistance when... <laughs> yeah, hopefully... Uh, we'll see. Yeah. Under, I'm trying to think if there's like underrated... Because I, I want to make... Are we talking to just Disneyland or can we do Disney World? That's a whole other oh, Disney World, uh, I need to go more before I have a full statement on that. <laughs> a full statement, a full, like, a political statement. I'm an expert on Disney. on Disneyland at this point, but yeah. I'm not, I'm a novice as far as Disney World goes. We'll have to, we'll have to do some research trips. Oh, you know what point. I think is underrated at Disneyland is the train. Just the train that goes around the yeah, whole Yeah, the park. train's good. I yeah. love the train. I have sat on the train for several loops around the park. It's just okay. I haven't done that. It's relax. I mean, times when I've gone like by myself, and it's like the mm. end of the day. Well, not okay, not like five loops in a row, but I've done. I like- just go on the train for eighty <laughs> loops. Just start at like nine a.m. to nine p.m. And just, <laughs> I guess that'd be kind of cozy. Just like bring a switch or something, and just. It is cozy not to go on yeah. eighty loops, but to do like to do at least one full loop around the park is nice because you get like the little like dinosaur thing. And then mm. it's just kind of it's kind of just nice and relaxing. I think it's underrated. Um, probably everybody yeah. knows about it, but I still think it's underrated because no one ever is in line for it. So that was one that that was one that Rocco mentioned because I think I asked him what he thought were some like either his favorites or his under, under underrated rides, and he mentioned. Oh, did you did well. you guys talk about Disneyland? Oh, we talked a lot about Disneyland. Oh no, I didn't realize I would have picked a different topic. No, no, no. I, that's why I didn't want to say anything because I was like, I know you want to talk about it. No, our conversation has been very different than the one that I had with him. Oh, no. Uh, so I, feel I think, so, so I think, I'm I, so sorry, listeners, no, for two no, 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 no. Disneyland so, podcasts. Oh, also, this was like at this point, sh- I forget which episode number this is going to be. This was like seven episodes ago. So for them, it would have been like months well, ago. Well, why don't we talk? Point. Okay. Fine. So has, has he been to Disney World? Did you talk about Disney World at all? Don't worry about what we, what we no, talk No, no, but the yes, next thing he, I was going to say, this was like, I was going to say this anyway, but, um, so like, what are the, do you recall, we haven't been in a while, but do you recall any things at Disney World that are not here that you wish were here or that you really like? Mm, like magic, all Just any, general? any of the parks. Uh, Lion King stage show. Oh yes, the Finding stage Nemo, shows in Disney World are great. The Finding Nemo musical show. Um, I would say the Indiana Jones stage show, but that's gone. Um, did we see that together or was it gone when we We went? did. No, we okay. saw it together. When, uh, when would I have seen that otherwise? Well, I don't know if I just... For reference, I went to Disney World like twice as a teenager with my family. And then someone and I went for our honeymoon. And then we went again like the next year just uh, to go with a friend. Yeah. So, um, so there's things that like I did when I was a kid and I went that are not there anymore. Like, um, like the car show, the the stunt car show was really cool, but that's not there anymore. And I couldn't remember if Indiana Jones was also not there when we went. No, Indiana Jones was there. Okay. That was a really cool show, but I didn't know it was gone or I forgot. It's gone now. That's too bad. But yeah, uh, I really want to get back to Disney World at some point because there's stuff there that I haven't, like I haven't ridden the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train yeah um just... i think what we should do let's say not let's say because <laughs> covid will end so <laughs> let's say when it's done because i know i know we're really really stir crazy to go traveling but like mm-hmm. i think one trip we should do i would love to do a trip um like maybe get a couple of like some of the annual pass people or something mm-hmm. like people who are like really serious about mm-hmm. like disney maybe like a small party and just plan like a like, like a, a trip to trip Disney there. World. That would be amazing. And honestly, like, go for, like, I would be down for, like, a week. Oh, for know? sure. Well. Go for a week and then, like, because, for example, like, Hollywood Studios, that's only going to be, like, a day. But, like, the main park well, proper. no, they have all I that could, Toy Story stuff. Well, yeah, it could be just a day, but. Oh, you're they, right. When the, we the went Story last stuff. time, it was, like, totally under construction. And then now they have all that stuff. And I think Galaxy's Edge is there. I mean, you know, if we did eight days. That's eight two days, days per park. Okay, I don't... eight days a week. It's two days of two days apart. I don't think. Listen, we need listen, two days per park. L- listen, what if we? The next, I want to ride. Next segment I want to ride. Podcast uh, is just planning our next vacation. Oh God, I want to ride every ride at Disney World. Like and in one written, go? No, because I've written some in the past, so I don't need to. Re- I don't need to prioritize those for the next visit. Do you consider like, Disneyland and Disney World like different? Like the ride versions, they, they are different. Oh, well, but I mean, like the ones. Oh, the ride versions. Um, I'm gonna say first, 
I'm going to focus on all the Disney World exclusives. Yes, okay. So anything I haven't written, which I which we've written a lot of them. So it's not like it would be that hard, right? Mm-hmm. The hardest stuff is that Avatar shit. Oh, I uh, forgot about that. That's why yeah. I'm like, hey, the first Animal Kingdom Day, we might not be able to do even one of them. But if we do one, we're not going to be able to do the other one. So it's like a thing where we go, okay, the second day is the day we catch up on anything we didn't get to do. Or we take, I mean, listen, if, if we wanted to make this a big, like, trip, um, if eight days is too long, then I'm fine with just, like, the typical, well, like, so think about usual, it. like five our, days or something. For our honeymoon, we went, uh, like, a Saturday to Saturday, but we weren't in the Disneyland parks every single day. We I think four or five days we were there, and then the other days, uh, well, one day we went to Universal, mm-hmm. um, and then I think the last day we just didn't do anything. So, you know, yeah. but I thought that was sufficient. And then when we went again, like, the next year, we also, I think, did one park per, like, one day per park. And I don't, I don't know. I thought that was sufficient. If we were going to do two or two days for parks, I'd have to think. Because I agree, Hollywood Studios, you probably don't need two days. But maybe you do. I don't I don't know. I maybe with the Toy Story stuff. I don't know. But here's the thing. Like, it could be kind of fun. Because, okay, let's say on the first day... You know, we pick, we pick two restaurants, and then on the next day, we pick two different restaurants in the park. That way we get to okay, this would four be, restaurants okay, per park. I take back what I said. It would be com- entirely worth it to do all the different restaurants. I wasn't even, yeah. I wasn't even, I wasn't even thinking. I was being, see, I think, I I'm just, a genius. I'm just, I'm a fool. I didn't even think about the restaurants. Yeah. But, you know, I, I absolutely agree. A group trip to Disney World would be super fun. I love Disney World. That was the first Disney park I ever went to. Um, I have very mm-hmm. fond memories of going there with my family and, of course, with you for our honeymoon. Um, mm-hmm. There's tons of stuff that we haven't done. Like you said, the Avatar stuff. I want to do Seven Doors Mind Train, like I said. Uh, all yeah. the new Toy Story stuff. Like, just everything. I, I, You know, there's tons of stuff we haven't done there that is now exclusive to there. Yeah. So um, for me, yeah, it'd be like, too. it'd be a, it'd be a checklist. It'd be like, okay, every ride I haven't done that's exclusive to here. Then if we have time... All the ones I have, because I've still ridden a lot of the stuff You know what there, I think? Like, I think would be really a fun thing to do, like, yeah. if we are there for a full week or eight days or whatever. Like, yeah. maybe we don't go to a park every single day, but, like, we have a day where we do, like, because the resorts have restaurants, too. Like, I really want to eat at that one restaurant mm. that we were going to eat at at the Animal Kingdom Resort, like, Sana or Sana. Like, I really... Well, then, what, what, could we, what we could do is we could do, let's say, lunch we eat in, at a restaurant in the park. And then dinner time. This sounds like we're actually planning it. Like I'm like writing. We kind. I mean, we. I mean, it kind of. I mean, listen. We talk about this shit all the time. Oh, let's go back to this and do this and do this. But like, uh, and we wouldn't. We wouldn't have to go to a resort restaurant every night. But like, let's say there. Let's say we pick a bunch that like we really want to do. Then it's a thing. Okay, uh, Hollywood Studio Day. We don't need to be here all day. Okay, after we have our fill. For the day, we'll go. We'll leave the park and go to one of the resort restaurants. See, eight days won't be enough for what we want to uh, do. Yeah, there. I mean, yeah. If you want to really, if we're like going like balls to the balls wall, to the wall, like we are just yeah. spending so much money and time, like just to be as efficient as possible. Then you know what? Fucking let's do it. Let's stay on property so we can get the advanced fast pass reservations. Mm, let's. I don't know about do you not want advanced fast pass? Then you're not going to ride a lot of. These Wait, rides. what's advanced fast pass? So in Disney World. You can make your fast pass reservations 30 days in advance of when you're going to okay. be there. If you're staying okay. on property, you can do it 60 days in advance. Why Why not just do it 30 days in advance? Because they're all gone because of all the people who did it 60 days in advance. Oh, okay, when we went, do you know rat. how much that Reddit rat, Ricky threads, rat. how much I had, how much I read, how much I researched to make sure. And then the first time we went, I didn't even know about fast passes because I thought they got rid of them. Or I, I thought you could only have them if you were on property, but no. Okay, I'll think about it. As if we're well, we doing could just this, say like, it. very soon. You don't soon, have to say, you know, soon. I know you won't let me uh, live my dreams and stay at the Polynesian. Well, listen, but it's not that cheaper, I won't let there's you. there's cheaper ones it's, that you can stay at. I'm just we'll saying, because how much does it cost to stay at the Polynesian? Oh, I don't know. Like, it's expensive. I'm going to Google it. I'm going to Google it right now. Poly- Polynesian cost Disney. How much is it cost? And not a cheap like? room. We want a bougie room. Okay, whatever. R- we want one huh? face in the water. Oh God. Uh, let's see. How much are rooms the Polynesian, or how much does it cost to stay? Is this per day? Mm-hmm. No way. What does it say? What? What does it say? Wait. 
Is it eight hundred dollars a day? Yes. That's that disgusting. Is there are that is that dis. Are like I've said before, Goofy better lick out my asshole <laughs> if I'm paying eight hundred dollars a day to stay in a stupid coconut room. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Look, what do you, could do you want this to be the ultimate Disney no, World okay. vacation or not? No, listen, listen, listen. I really listen. feel like you're not I, with me. No, on no, no. This. Listen, 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 listen to what I'm saying. <laughs> I have no problem with like living my best life and like living big and like spending to have a great time. But if we're going to Disney World to do like, hey, we're gonna be in the parks most of the day, just like going out and like you know riding rides we haven't ridden. Eating at restaurants. And then you come back to the we're room not gonna and be Mickey in the Mouse room for is there much, to lick the... your butthole. Listen, if we're not going to be there at, for that much long, for long in the rooms, it's a huge waste of money. It's like, true. I, Honestly. I'm treating, I'm treating the room as like, hey, we are tired. We're just going to like fall asleep in this pretty good room, right? It doesn't need to be a coconut or whatever well, so the Well, so what I actually, is. the reason I suggest staying on property is because like you can have that advanced fast pass but i honestly think what yeah. we did for our honeymoon was the ideal mm. because i don't do you remember our honeymoon at all do you remember it at all are we married <laughs> who are you hi i'm sung one it's nice to, <laughs> nice to meet you for our honeymoon we were able to uh for reference for the people listening my parents had like um access to a timeshare and they were like oh yeah you can pay a little bit and then you can stay here like you have to pay to be a guest to stay there of the people who own it but um, it was something like there. So we did that and it ended up being super, super cheap. And it was super close to the parks, but it was not on property. So we didn't get the the Disney benefits of being on property. But we were able to stay like for super cheap. And it was basically like an apartment. It was really nice. And I would love to yeah. like if we were actually going with our group of like seven people, it would make more sense to get an Airbnb that is like a house. Yes. Rather yes. than. But I was, just, I mean, I was thinking about being efficient with the fast passes. I'm sorry. Okay, now we're just talking about our vacation, our like theoretical vacation. But dude, getting an Airbnb with like a like a small group. So this was Disney actually World, this that'd leads, be so fun. This leads into the next topic that I actually wrote down on my list of topics um, sure. after theme parks and Disneyland, which was travel favorite places you've gone and where you want to go after COVID, which can kind of lead into theme parks because I know we want to go to Nintendo World. Oh, I want to go so bad. I want to go. That's... So, yeah, theme parks or where do you want to go or theoretical where you want to go after COVID. Like, that can be what we lead into with this. I definitely want so, to go to Nintendo World in Japan. The priority is Super Nintendo, Nintendo World in Osaka. Yeah. That's, like, I definitely, gotta go. You know that I want to go back to Japan immediately when it's safe to. Like, I'm, like, ready to buy my tickets. But right. for sure, I do want to plan something to go to Nintendo World. And I think it'd be really fun to just do, like a, like, with friends, like a group trip. Yeah, no, I, I Super Nintendo World. Um, if we go back to Tokyo for a bit, I would love to try Tokyo Disneyland. Yes, we've gone to Disney Sea. We've been to Disney, but I would twice. like to do Disneyland proper. Disney Sea um, is my favorite Disney park because, mm, like, you know, okay. it, I just think it's so unique. I think the shows are really good. Um, I I like Disney Sea a lot because I think the theming is my favorite theming of any theme park I've been to. And then, yeah. you know, the rides are all really unique. Like, the Sinbad ride is really awesome. Mm -hmm. um, and just, that's the only one that comes to mind. <laughs> <laughs> Journey to the Center of the Earth. Journey to, so, sorry, last time we went, Sinbad was, like, the only one that I recall going on. Because I think the first time we went, we went on more. But I didn't go on that many last time we went. I went on a lot last time, but you, you know, your grandma. So. Yeah. Oh, no, you and, you and Lauren went off to go shop, which is fine. Well, we were, like, like yeah, we were just kind of doing the not ride things. Um, mm -hmm. So that was really fun. But, yes, I definitely do want to try Tokyo Disneyland because we have not done that. Um, definitely want to go yeah, to Nintendo. Yeah, and just, I mean, I love Disney Sea, so I would not complain if we did like Disneyland, Disney Sea, like two separate days or something. Yeah, um, that'd be really fun. Um, especially um, if we go with people who haven't been before, that'd be yeah, really fun. Yeah, if we go with people who, who, if we don't go with people who haven't been, maybe we'll skip Sung Disney Sea. loves to go to Japan with people who have not been to Japan. <laughs> I do. I do love showing, well, or people who haven't been, like, uh, rip One Piece Tower, but showing like Wilco the One Piece Tower was such a pleasure. Speaking of theme parks, I wish I could go back to. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, I'm glad we did get to go twice, though. And yes, it was really fun to take him there. Yeah, so Japan for sure. I'd love to go back. Um, I'd love to take a trip to Hawaii. I think Hawaii would be really fun. Yes, we were kind of talking about doing that before COVID. We were like, oh, maybe in the fall we should go to Hawaii or something instead of like wherever, like Japan again. We were like, yeah, we go Hawaii would be great. 
Uh, I'd love Hawaii to go back to Korea. Um, mm. I really, really, really want to go back to Korea. I know I have friends who want to go to Korea. I know that your family wants mm-hmm. to go to Korea again. Like, I think Korea is definitely somewhere we will go in the future, but because I'm pretty confident that you and I at least will go, I'm not like, yeah. let's make plans for There's it. There's a new world now that we're talking about it. But aside from that, I'd love to go to Europe and do, because I've only, I've only been to Ireland, but I would love to go to everywhere, mm-hmm. you know, yes. Italy, France, you yes. know, I... just all over. I, and you, you know this, I've been to Italy and Greece um, in high school. I went on a, a school trip that was going there for one of my classes that I was taking. And that was, but you know, that was mm. over 10 years ago. Um, but then someone and I did go to Ireland. Ireland was one of my favorite places that we yeah, traveled that was together, great. I think. It was so cool. I would love to go back to Ireland. I know you're always like, I want to yeah. go somewhere new. But I always want to go places that I had fun. I'm like, I want to go I back. I think for me, once we've hit but, all the places I've always wanted. Oh, another one for me is I want to go to Australia. I really want to go to Australia. Oh, yes. I do want to go to Australia. And I, I want to go to New yeah, Zealand, be too, cool. actually. That'd be really cool. Um, but definitely, I would also like to go to more places in Europe. I haven't been to the UK proper. We were only there for a minute. Yeah, I'd love to, to go to the UK. Um, Scotland mm. would be cool. Uh, Italy, I would love to go back. Because when I did go, it was only for a couple days. Like, Greece was Sbarro. mostly the trip that we went on. Mm. Yes, get some Sbarro. Mm. My favorite pizza joint. Speaking of my favorite New York pizza joint, I would love to go back to New York as soon. Like New York is so fun. I would love to go back to New York as well. Yeah, New York. New York was great. Where do you think is your favorite place we've traveled together, or just that you've traveled? It no, it, it would be somewhere we've traveled. It would probably have to be. It's it it's different. It's it's difficult because I think I think I'm gonna say Tokyo because of just how much fun stuff there is to do there. But Korea is up there because I have to agree. just getting to see family I have not seen. Korea was one of my favorite trips we've gone on for sure. But it was almost different than like a vacation because we kind of went there and we were like, we said to your mom, we were like, okay, you're we're going to like let you basically dictate this trip before. Because we did two weeks. We did one week in Korea yeah. and then one week in Tokyo. So we basically kind of were like doing family stuff the whole time in Korea, which was amazing. And I loved it so much. But it was less like, it was kind of. Like, very different than going on, like, just a regular vacation. I think for me... But I loved it. It was, like, visiting family for the holidays. Yeah, and I I got to see family that I have not... I mean, I I have not seen since I was, like, three years old, right? So, like, I don't remember meeting Mm -hmm. them, but, like, I knew them from photos and, like, you know, meeting meeting second cousins, Mm -hmm. meeting, you know, uncles and aunts. Uh, It was... And also, I I think I, like, talked about this maybe to you and also, like, I, I don't know, like, but... uh. As someone who doesn't even speak Korean that well, it does. I felt like I belonged there. It was this. It was this real like mm-hmm. sense of huh. Like everyone here is like me and my family, and it's kind of like wow. Mm-hmm. This is kind of surreal. And even though there's a slight language barrier, it's still, you know, it felt like a almost like a like a distant home. Uh, and I, I'm sure a lot of people feel that Korean Americans feel that way, but yeah, my favorite thing was when people people do this in Japan too. Actually, people would try to talk to you in like Korean or Japanese, but then they would see me and they'd be like, "Okay, I'm gonna switch to English now." So this person and you were just like, "Thank God," because I don't know. In what Korean, they're I know what they're saying, but uh, yeah, no, but, no, you know, in Korean, Japan, you I'm did. like, I don't fucking know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they're just assuming that every Asian person can speak yeah. Japanese, I guess. Because that happened with Lauren and her husband, too, right. who's also Korean. Um, but no, no, no. Korea, for sure, was very, like, it was almost, yeah. like, wholesome. It was almost wholesome. It was very nice. Wholesome. I really... But I don't know if that's the right word to describe it. You know what I mean? Would you say wholesome is right? Because it was kind of, like... We did some touristy stuff, but we also did a lot of stuff that was not touristy yes, at all. Yeah. Which I, I really mean, liked. I liked... The, the touristy stuff was cool, but it yeah, just, cool. like... like Oh, yeah. I loved feeding seagulls on the Han River. That was But that I also awesome. loved just having family dinner. So, yeah, you're like, the best part was feeding seagulls. Family dinners and just, like, you know, eating just in... Yeah, we went to, like, four it. buffets. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. That was, <laughs> the, okay, some of the buffets were better than others. But do you remember the last buffet we went to, which was, like, the best one? Yeah, that one was It was legit. so good. Korean buffets are amazing, everyone. If you ever in Korea, go to a real good buffet. It was totally oh, worth it. Speaking of buffets, this is not nearly at the top. You talk to Las Vegas. To g- the Las Vegas baby. Las Vegas buffets. I, oh no, I think the Bacchanal is amazing. I love the Bacchanal. I love Vegas buffets, and I love 
Vegas is such a shit show. I, oh, it's but disgusting. I, I love it. I I love <laughs> Vegas. Like, I definitely it's, because it's so close to us now. I definitely want to like when COVID. Obviously, obviously, this is all with the caveat that this is when COVID is over and we're back yeah. and we can travel. But I definitely right. do want to go back to Vegas if just to like eat and shop. Like, I mean, mm. gambling can be kind of fun if you're just doing slot machines. But I think it's just fun to like eat and shop because they have like all the high end designer stores and you can just kind of walk around. We didn't go to any shows when we. No, we didn't. Family. I wanted to, but we like that. It was a little too last minute. Yeah, no, no, yeah. I would love to, like, get a small group, go to Vegas. Oh, yeah, you've been to Vegas, like, three times. I've only been once. Yes, yeah. I would love to go book some shows. Like, Penn and Teller, Mm -hmm. for example, is, like, a fantastic, just fun show. Yeah, yeah, you saw them. Bacchanal, maybe hit up, you know. Oh, what's the Wicked Spoon? I want to try Wicked Spoon. I hear it's quite good. Wicked Spoon, I hear it's quite good. Um, And then I want to, like... If I can get, like, some people who, like, actually like to gamble. Maybe oh, you want to do, like, a table game? Maybe some table games or something, <laughs> you know. I would that would be a lot of fun. That's, you but... know, it's so funny because my dad really likes table games. But he doesn't, mm. you know, he doesn't know anybody at the table. So you're just like, no, I only want to do it with people I know. Which, I think is, it'd be fun. which is valid. No, it's completely valid. But, you know, my dad really likes those. And my mom likes the slot machines because we went with mm. my parents, obviously. So we were hanging out with them. Um but like I, I just think slot machines are like fun. But I can. Oh no, I they're know, fun. I always lose I love too much too. money, so I have to like not. Yeah. But they are fun. Las Vegas is disgusting, though. It's just the worst. Yeah, it it is, but it's it's kind of beautiful. <laughs> kind of beautiful in a disgusting sort of way. Yeah. But yeah, definitely, I'm so excited to. You know, I was kind of like getting burnt out on travel. Obviously, a year ago, I was like, I don't want to travel anymore. I just want to like. But now I'm just like, oh. And then, and then you got, got and the monkey's wish. paw. The, yeah, one the finger, all the fingers and the monkey's paw curled at the same time. And punched you in the face. And, and then it punched me in the face. And uh, yes, so then I couldn't travel. So I'm very excited to start once we can start planning travel again to do that. I do want to go to Disney World with a group. Like you said, I want to go back to Japan. I want to just go mm. different places in the United States. Yeah, I just and then just a, so another simple answer is just like I like visiting our families. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, yeah, that's uh, all. Yeah, we'll have to schedule something like that too because we obviously didn't go for the holidays. So this yeah, year. like because for me, I, I don't know if I've talked about this on the podcast, but like for me, visiting either one of our families, that's when I can just be the most, the most relaxed, mm-hmm. and I like being relaxed. Like I love going to Tokyo and I love doing really fun stuff, but you don't relax on those kind of trips. You're go- always kind of going somewhere, going somewhere, going somewhere. Yeah. Whereas when we visit our families, it's like, I can just do nothing for like a week and just, just, just be completely at peace. That's something that I know. I, I know miss. sometimes when we travel, even if like, cause when we went to Ireland, it was technically cause you were uh, guesting at a convention. So yeah. like, I know, but I know even if we're traveling either for fun or for work, you, you're kind of like a little bit stressed sometimes. Yeah. But during the holiday time, nobody is doing anything. So there's no reason to be stressed, which I agree with. Like, I like holiday time because nobody else is working. So I don't have to worry about work. Right. But I also, I did enjoy staying home for Thanksgiving. (laughs) I did did enjoy mm, not going through an airport on Thanksgiving. I mean, nobody likes the airport part. But yeah, I know where you're coming from. No, that's what I mean. So, but yes, I am very excited. Uh, I just... Japan. I just want to go back to Japan. That's the number one place. I'm like, I want to go back. I want to go to Nintendo World. I want to. We've only been to Tokyo. I want to go all. I want to go to like Kyoto. Well, we gotta Osaka. go to Osaka. We gotta go to Osaka Nintendo to see World. Mario. He's gonna be there. Uh, I miss going to conventions with you, even. Even. Well, I mean, because I didn't. I didn't go to them all the time. I only went like every now and then, and like yeah. And those were only really those were like out. a weekend trip. But you know, I'm saying that even that small little thing that was like pretty casual, like I miss. Yeah, those are fun. I do miss those. And um, it was, yeah, it's fun to, like, go with you to conventions and, like, wherever you're traveling. Yeah, I'm wondering how those will be. I'm COVID, very but, curious because, you know, yeah. ones in early 2021 are already canceling because they're like, well, this didn't go away. <laughs> yep, yep. But I do, I miss conventions. Like, I, I wasn't, I was kind of not that into them for a while because, like, they got exhausting and I only really liked yeah. going with you. But now I'm kind of like, I miss conventions. I miss just, like, people and chaos mm. but yeah was there anywhere else you, you wanted to travel after covid or do after covid anything you want to just do doesn't have to be traveling what do you miss eating at restaurants i do miss that i miss when we would just like look up a new restaurant and go there 
Yeah. That was fun. Eating at restaurants. Uh, let's switch topics after this. I don't know. I'm, I'm getting depressed. Uh, but yeah, eating, eating at restaurants, going out t- with friends, having friends over. Friends. Friends. I miss friends. <laughs> I miss friendship. Um, do we have one last topic you want to tackle before uh, we uh, sign off? Um, you know what? Let me look at what I wrote down. Got it. Because we can always save these for another one. Oh, yeah. No, no, Some of these are like would take a little bit. You know what? This was one that I wrote down because it was really funny. Um, somebody okay. was like, do fuck, Mary kill with Lysanderoth, King Dragon, and Archibald. <laughs> okay. I would like to hear your thoughts first. Okay. I'm going to marry Archibald. Mm-hmm. Is King Dragon a dragon? <laughs> King Dragon, uh, you know, I'm not sure. Is King he an dragon, actual I, dragon? And I think he's just a guy with a, with a black crown. Okay, I'll fuck King Dragon, I, and then I'm going to kill okay. Lysander off. <laughs> oh, why? You don't want to give <laughs> But Archibald me. is definitely husband material, yeah, so yeah, I'd marry I, that I, guy. I, what about you? It. Uh, <laughs> marry Archibald, um... You know, I have to think about because <laughs> people have drawn fan art of Lysanderoth, and oh, I haven't seen make... the I haven't seen the Lysanderoth fan art. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll show you afterwards. Um, and they always make him look very like I don't think you'd like like how he sexy, looks, but kind of sexy. Uh, and then King Dragon. I don't know that voice not... though. That voice. Mm, what's you don't like this voice? Uh, King Dragon is not really as developed, honestly, because it's just like uh, yeah, you hit it and quit people, it. People. <laughs> Mm, I see. I'm going to say, <laughs> you know, just because I'm not sure what King Dragon really looks like at this point, I'll fuck Lysanderoth uh, and uh, kill King Dragon. Because also, you got to kill King Dragon to save Prince Horus. So, I think that'll be my answer. No, you, you just, you can um, persuade him with your dick. Yeah, yeah. But you don't have to kill. There doesn't have to be violence, please. And fuck Mary Kill, there has to be, but, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Jeez. Any any other any other sh- brief ones we can we can. What Pokemon cross would you eat? Ooh, oh, I said brief ones. <laughs> this okay. is gonna be that's a whole podcast. Well, I food was the other topic I wrote down. They just wrote food. I just wrote food because several people were like asking about food. Listen, I this listen. Listen what I'm listening. Nothing. Fine. I'll okay. say I'll I'll save what Pokemon would you eat. We'll do a whole Poke cast. I think we'll have somebody else on with yeah. us for that. That Ooh. could be like a whole That could be episode, like, we could get our buddy Dave. Ooh, Dave yeah, would be good true. for talking about which Pokemon you would eat. Okay. Yeah. Well, sorry my topics are so boring. Uh, that's what I meant. Yeah. Okay. Um, one, that, one that you actually could briefly talk about is uh, your views on being recognized in public. Is it okay to take pictures or say hello? That kind of thing. Not obviously mm, that isn't happening that much because of COVID, but that was mm, one that I thought would be interesting. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think, um, for me, you know, being recognized in public, uh, oh yeah, if you want to take a picture, totally, totally down. Yeah, that's totally fine. Like, I don't want people to, like, uh, be like, oh, I can't, like, approach him or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, now, my feelings on it, um, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's complicated because I do appreciate that people give a shit about who I am and what I do. You know, I, I am flattered and, you know... I, you know, people are, you know, it's great. You know, I, I, I like that, you know, I like meeting fans and that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but at the same time, sometimes you can, f- especially if you're at like a convention or when, even when you're not at a convention, but sometimes it's like you can never feel fully, mm, I don't want to say comfortable because that sounds too extreme. It's not like I'm just like, oh, I'm so nervous every time I go out. It's not a nervous but, thing, but it, you're talking about, uh, being like on which i don't usually do is the thing i'm not even saying about being on but like uh and i've talked about this i think on the podcast before like let's say at like a party like if people know who i am and i don't know who they are mm. i always feel like there's a little bit of like an imbalance right mm-hmm. and it makes me feel a little like uneasy is too strong but it's like you know it, it feels just like something slightly off right like there's ex- expectations from them mm-hmm. that and it's like for me, who as someone who doesn't like to try to be on or like try to like, oh, I gotta appease them. It's interesting because like you know, uh, Conan O'Brien uh, mentioned like whenever a fan meets him, he always goes out of his way to be very like he wants it that it to be like the best 
interaction they've ever had, Mm -hmm. which I, I admire that about him because he is a very, you know, strong performer, but I don't have that. That's not me. Right. Um, and so sometimes I think when people meet me, they might, because I'm a pretty chill person, I think, mm-hmm. right? Yes. Uh, You're they very might be like, oh, in real life. low key. They might think, oh, is he like mad or something? Or, oh, he, uh, he wasn't, he just kind of was like, hey, what's up? Like, usually if people come up to me and you're like, hey, can I take a picture with him? Like, yeah, yeah, let's do it. And I just like throw up the peace sign. I'm just like, yeah. Yeah. And then, like, you know, I'm very just casual. You're, and you're so- very like, I, okay, yes, I, I will. I'm happy to take a picture with you. I'm happy to say hello. But then you want to move on with your day. Um, well, see, I don't even necessarily want to give up that impression. Like, sometimes I've, like, had good conversations with people, but there's always, there's also sometimes a difference, right? Like, if I am out in public, you know, like, I going mean, somewhere. I mean, if we're, like, I'm not talking about at a convention. I'm talking about, like, we're at Disney. Like, oh, like, like, at, somebody, like, at, like, at the movie or, oh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, well, like, yeah. When I say yeah. in public, I don't mean, like, you're a guest at a convention, because obviously mm. people at a convention are going to recognize you. I'm talking about just when you're, like, living your life out in the real world. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, yeah, then it's, like... Yeah, like, and usually I'm with a group, like, hey, so, you know, I, uh, hey, it was great to meet you, but I gotta, like, go, because mm-hmm. I'm with people, and we're going somewhere, or we're doing something. Um, I don't think people mind that so much, but I think when they meet, sometimes when they meet me, they might expect me to be someone who's more energetic, or more silly, or something, like, because maybe they know me for my skits. Um, whereas I think people who know me for, like, some of my other videos, or whatever... Know that I'm not necessarily, like, big, like, hey, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, what's up? Let's do it, man. Which I know some people do. And, again, I think that's, like, totally cool. But I, I just don't have that urge to do that. I would rather you meet me as me. And this is who I am. Mm-hmm. Um, and some people might be, like, kind of put off by that. So there is this sort of feeling of, like, uh, what are they expecting from me? I want to give them just who I am. But at the same time, is that going to be disappointing for them? Is that going to be, you know, so there is a sense of uh, imbalance. But I'm um, listen, 90, I think 90% of the time, it's always super, everyone's super chill. They're like, hey, hey, nice to meet you. I'm a fan of your work. I'm like, yeah, hey, nice to meet you. And we take a picture and then it's all good. Um, I, it's not something I ever was like, I wish this would happen. And if I were to be honest, if it just went away, I would not miss it i wouldn't miss being uh going back to anonymity on like just in public right but uh because i think some people really thrive on that they're like i love being recognized oh like give me that attention i don't know for me it's like obviously i uh get the like whatever you would call the spousal experience of like having this happen to you i don't really know Mm, mm. but i guess for me it's kind of like at a convention, I don't care. Mm. Like, you're there to be a guest, and if people, whatever, if people want to say hi to you at a convention, or if they're, like, obviously if they're in line to see you, that doesn't even matter. But, like, um, but the, the topic that I picked to talk about was more, like, just being recognized in public. Yeah. And, like, for me, I guess, like, I, I don't really care if people are, like, oh, yeah, like, I w-. but sometimes people are really annoying about it. And you don't yeah. notice when people want your attention, but I do. And I'll have to be like, hey, this person wants your attention. <laughs> I'll be like, hey, this person's been staring at you for five minutes. Can you please go talk to them so they stop following us? Like, it's mm. that kind of energy. And for me, I'm just like, I, you know that I like privacy. Yeah. Like, I'm a very right. private person. And sometimes, like, I don't mind it. Like, it makes me very happy if people are very happy to meet you. But sometimes yeah, yeah, yeah. I... I you and maybe you don't notice as much as I do, but sometimes some of the interactions, I'm just like, just I don't know. I I think I very like invasive. That's the word. Mm. Some people are a little invasive. Some people talk to you for too long, especially if we're like at Disneyland in our group. Like I'm just mm. like okay, like obviously he's busy. I do get recognized a lot at Disneyland. Yeah, you get recognized a lot, which is not a problem. Like, I'm not trying to say yeah. people shouldn't say hi to you if they recognize you. It is totally fine to be like, hey, like, I'm a big fan of your stuff. Can I get a picture? Like, that's fine. But sometimes there, uh, there have just been some, some interactions that have thrown me off. So I think what I, I would say mm. is, like, if you're going to do that to anybody, not just to, like, us or someone, but if you are going to, like, rec- like, say hello to somebody that you recognize that you, like, follow, just, I don't know, consider that they are doing something and they are also like just trying to move on. Like they probably want to say hi to you, but I've, I have just experienced some really weird stuff. Mm. Maybe but you, you usually don't even notice. 
I think for me, I have more of a tolerance for it. I think more of a patience because mm-hmm. I understand. I understand. I've met people that I am like a fan of. I have so, too. And sometimes I'm really nervous, right? So I, for me, oh, my no, the nervousness goal, is it, fine. I don't. That's not no, the no, no. I I know what you're talking about. Some people have been like weird. Yeah. Like, I, but for me, that's honestly been in the minority. I think ninety percent of people that come up to me are very chill, very nice, and it's a positive experience. And like, and also, I'm not I'm not gonna lie. When it when it like I did say before, like oh, like I, I wouldn't miss it. But you know, when it first started happening, it was kind of surreal. Yeah, right? like, it was. This was it was long really time, weird. A long time ago. And to be fair, I, and honest, I was like kind of excited. I was like, "Oh wow! Like somebody actually like recognized me. That's so weird. Like it was a novelty at the time. It's not a novelty anymore. And so, uh, so it's not like I'm like super excited when it happens. I'm just like, well, I don't know. Like I haven't been out in public for so long, <laughs> and like maybe maybe I'll be. Everybody's forgotten about you. Nobody will ever recognize you. Oh. That's actually not what I was going. I was gonna be oh. like, maybe I'll like, maybe I'll like want this more, like just, or maybe I'll like a- appreciate it more. <laughs> like, hey, interaction with a human being. No, no, I think wow. you do. I like, think you do appreciate it. I wouldn't say no, that no. You don't. I like. I think you no, no, are I, always very happy to like be like, oh yes, like hello, thank you so much for like liking my work, blah blah blah. blah. Like, I think that's yeah. fine. I think I am just hypersensitive to people being weird. So for mm. me, I kind of like I it makes me happy when people are happy to meet you, but it's kind of like a blessing and a curse for me as your wife. I mean, I- to be fair, yeah, I mean, I'm not the one who has to like wait, right? Like for me, I'm the one who gets to have the interaction and like, you mm-hmm. know, oh, they're happy to see me, but you're just sitting there just waiting. And yeah, that I can understand. And there that yeah, would and be, like pr- that early would be on annoying. when it started happening, when I was like still like private Twitter and like didn't have like any following at all. People would be mm. kind of weird to me too if they didn't know who I was. Oh yeah, They're like, like are there you were with him? there were a couple <laughs> yeah like a couple weird interactions. People were like, oh, are you with him? And I was like, yes, <laughs> like yeah, you could say that. So yeah, just a couple. So I don't know. I think people when they don't know like who I am and I'm with you have been like kind of weird to me. So for me, it kind of made me think like, oh, like this is kind yeah. of weird. No, no, I, I can definitely see that. But, um, yeah, I do want to stress, though, like, 90% of people. No, please, po- please the, come say hello to us if you see us or if you see someone, please. But yeah, don't be weird. That's, yeah. Just, just don't like, be a weirdo. Yeah, just don't be a weirdo. That's really the easiest way to put it. Like, you know, like, you will know. Or maybe we don't, people don't know, but maybe not. But, like. Uh, just don't be a weirdo and just be just be cool and it'll be cool and it'll be cool. I'll be happy we'll be to take cool. a picture with you. Like I, that has never bothered me. We have absolutely had great conversations and interactions with people, and that's like, true as well. It's yeah. totally fine, but sometimes it also it's depends weird. on the time and yeah. place, right? Like if I'm on the way to like go somewhere with a group, chances are I, I'm unfortunately we cannot stand and talk for like uh ten minutes or whatever. I gotta <laughs> go, but um. Yeah, no, I think this about covers that topic. That's pretty thorough. Like, it's like, I'm grateful, but it is, like, a mixed bag. Overall, though, I can't complain. Oh, man, people know who I am because they no, like no, no, my no, stuff. No, 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 of course not. Like, I just thought, like, but I did think it would be an interesting topic to talk about, just, like, how you, like, actually feel about it and how, like, you know, my experience with it just by proxy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, because, again, we love it, like... It's really nice when people are like, oh, yeah, we really we follow you online. Like, people have even, re- like, even separate of you, people have recognized me at conventions. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, my God, like, are you Henry? Like, are you, some people have been like, are you Prozzi's wife? Yeah, yeah. I'd be like, no, this he's, Pro he's my husband. Mm, Excuse yes, you. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, there are people who, so, yeah, people will recognize me, and it's, it's usually delightful. 99% of the time, it is completely a delight. There's no issues. But... It is, but even with those delightful interactions, it is like, when did this happen? Was it like, was I rushed? Did I feel weird about it? You know, it's just like, yeah. Does that make sense? <laughs> no, it absolutely makes sense. Yeah. Basically, Emery is saying never make eye contact. No, with I'm not and, saying no. that. But that's like, no, that's I'm the joking. thing though is when you want to talk about this kind of thing, you don't want it to come across as like, oh no, I hate it. Don't talk to me because that's not the case at all. Yeah. No, I think people. I think it's been pretty clear. And like I keep saying, ninety percent of the time, it's cool. You know what? Don't worry about it. Like, don't. As long as you don't overthink it, you'll be fine. 
just just yeah like we both we've both said like met people who we also followed like online or like really liked or admired Mm -hmm. you know and it's just yeah you do get nervous but just i don't know you'll know the difference between i'm nervous and i'm a weirdo (laughs) yeah 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 (laughs) i have actually no problem with people who are nervous oh yeah no that's that's totally fine nerves and weirdness is not they're not the same we're talking yeah awkwardness is not the same as just being a weirdo yeah, being a weirdo is like some people are really aggressive. Yes, they're either weird, we're really aggressive, or really like people have been old. really weird. You rarely ever say no to a photo, but times where you're like, I can't because I have to go because I'm like on my way somewhere. People have been weird. People have been kind of rude, and I'm like, you're not entitled to a photo with anyone. Yeah, you know? no, and it, it, and for me, it bothers me because like I have taken so many photos with people. I would say my my ratio is like ninety nine point nine percent. I will do it if I have the time. We gotta quit. The only do time it. you don't but do if it I, is when if you I, actually do not have the time. And I people... I literally only say no if I have to be somewhere on at a specific time and I am late or some or something like that. And so when yes, yeah, some people have been sort of like rude in that regard, or if they're overly aggressive or overly familiar, right? You know. And, oh, and... I haven't. I don't know if I've actually ever seen someone do that to you. Uh, it's like it's like how on like Twitter people will be like overly familiar to you, like maybe oh, they'll like. Oh, but in real life. Oh. Yeah, it can, it can happen, but again, this is all within a very small percentage, and right, right, right. Like, so no, this I is just like want to. I think. Of interactions. No, I, I, I think we're good on this topic because I, we're just gonna keep talking in circles. I just want to reiterate, like, these are such these rarely happen. Like rare, like it's rare that I have a negative experience with a fan. Mm-hmm. Like especially at conventions. At conventions, they're just the fans are wonderful at conventions. Um, no, 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 I feel um, like at conventions, uh, people I've rarely seen weird or rude interactions. It's mostly like it's literally the rudest ones have been when you were like, I, I don't have time to take a photo, and people get mad about it, and it's like, right, okay, right. well, sorry. Right, but even those, it's like super in the minority and even i it's hard to think of that many instances where mm-hmm. it was like really like unlike like a not a good experience like those are very far and few in between so uh, yeah most, it, the long and short of it is if you see someone or myself or both of us in public please say hello like we love it we just don't want you to be a weirdo <laughs> right that's it all right. Uh, I think that'll do it for this one. Uh, I'm never having you back on again. Oh, no. I have so many other this, topics. Like, which Pokemon would you eat? This was a terrible episode. Oh, I my think. God. I mean, nobody's I'm sorry I made you talk about this. Disneyland again. Your least no, favorite topic. I, uh, no, I think we covered a lot of stuff that actually we didn't talk about in the other one. So, and also, I don't care what we, I don't care if we talk about shit again. Who cares? Uh, thank you very much, Admiral. Where can we find you on the internet? You can find me mostly on twitter.com at uh, Charizard, C-H-E-R-R-I-Z-A-R-D. Charizard. Cool! Wow. And then, like, my handle is pretty much that for most other things. Sometimes it's not because somebody took it. Um, mm-hmm. But, yeah, Instagram and Twitter is Charizard. So those are the two important ones. Go follow her. She's in my life. Okay. Go follow me. Bye-bye. Bye.